If you're looking for the best sports memorabilia and card break room on the internet, you've come to the right place. Welcome to Ultimate Autographs Live Break Room. Tonight's action will move fast, so we want to prep you for what you are about to see on your screen. First, the all-important dice roll number. At the top of the show, the host will randomize a series of numbers. The number selected from the randomizer will become the dice roll number for the entire show. Meaning every mystery box that is broken, the names of every collector will be placed on a list and randomized using the dice roll number for the show. Next, you see this black ticker down here? This shows you which numbers are still available in each and every Ultimate Autographs mystery box series. When a break fills or sells out, the host will ask for a number. This is where you make your selection from. Simply type a number in the chat and the host will pick the first number they see. Throughout the show, you may see two different types of breaks, divisional and top spot. Divisional breaks are most common. In this format, all eight individuals who enter a football themed break will be positioned next to one of eight football divisions after their names are randomized using the show's dice roll number. When the mystery box is opened, the football division of the team represented in that mystery box becomes the winning division. The lucky collector whose name is randomly placed next to that football division takes home the signed piece of authenticated memorabilia. Our top spot format is typically reserved for giveaways, college theme series, and non-football breaks. In a top spot break, all names are added to a list. They are randomized using the show's dice roll number. At the end of the randomization, the name at the top becomes the winner of the signed item or prize. Breaking sports memorabilia has never been easier or more fun than it is in Ultimate Autograph's live break room. Remember, Every mystery box series you see on the show can also be purchased as a personal mystery box that is either shipped directly to your home for you to open, or you can request to have it opened on a future Ultimate Autographs Live Breaks broadcast. Also, while you're waiting for your break to fill, we encourage you to look around ultimateautographs.com to see if you find a piece of memorabilia you love and want to add to your collection. And don't forget, every live break spot you purchase automatically earns you 6% back in UA cash that you can later exchange for a mystery box or a signed item of your choosing. All right, the time has come. Let's break some certified authentic sports memorabilia in Ultimate Autographs live break room. Tell them, boys. And from our studios in suburban Chicago, it's Ultimate Autographs Live Breaks. Welcome in, everybody. Joe Aguilar, along with the former college fullback, Garrett Campbell. What's going on, Garrett? Joe, what's going on? Uh, I don't know. It's Wednesday. It's a good good week thus far. Uh, been nice weather. White yes. Sox got out of a slump today. Got a nice little win against the Pirates. Hold um, on. I saw Liam Hendricks got the save. He did get the save. Held on to a 4-3 win. Uh, got a day off tomorrow and then back at home. Full capacity at the cell. Or guaranteed right field, who or, or Kaminsky, whichever area you're a part of. <laughs> right. Um, and right now watching a little Eastern Conference Finals. Bucks up 32-25. Start of the second quarter. Um, my pick for the NBA Finals is Suns Bucks. I think that's Suns, the one Bucks, that uh, I would I like that. Uh, that I would enjoy watching the most. Sounds good. Trey Young uh, and the Hawks. Man, they've been a great postseason story. I think he's got about 12 points thus far. So, awesome. looking for another good game for him. Let me uh, tell you what we got going on tonight here. Lots of fun uh, sports memorabilia. Not all NFL. We do have a mixer available still, the, uh, a multi-sport. We call it the kitchen sink. Uh, still have lots of boxes left in that. And then the big uh, thing tonight we're dropping is the, the new mini helmets. I think a lot of you already know that because we've been selling out of them. We're already on, I think, live break. Uh, number four is up on the board. we got a couple. Uh, these are single box breaks. Four already sold out. Yeah, so we're on we're on we're actually, five. So one and two were single box break. Three, four, and five have been double box breaks. So if we fill up number five, let me know if you'd like us to drop a quad, or a triple, or a six box, or an octo. Hey, we can do it. We can do an octo. So let me know in the chat. This uh, this new mini helmet series we're calling it the big uh, mini helmet series. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun, I think. If, uh, a couple things here. First of all, it's a break room exclusive, so you can't uh, purchase any of these mini helmets. Uh, via retail, <clears throat> so we got it's a thirty box series, 
And the headliners, I got to tell you, um, they're pretty. They're pretty awesome. Uh, we got Dak Prescott. We got uh, Drew Brees on a Lunar. These are the mini helmets, the new mini helmet series. How about John Elway on a Broncos Chrome, baby? Beautiful. Uh, let's see that. Uh, Justin Fields, our guy, the new, the new quarterback for the Bears, on a Bears Eclipse. Love to see it. We got uh, Justin Herbert. How about that? On a Chargers Eclipse. Mm -hmm. Kurt Warner. Uh, is that a Chrome, Garrett? The Rams? Uh, I want to say yes. It is Rams a Rams Chrome, Chrome. The great Kurt Warner, the Hall of Famer. And then how about Kyler Murray as well? On a Lunar. Uh, on a Lunar. Yeah, so, I mean, it's fantastic. Uh, new mini helmet series uh, put together by our guy Donnie. Uh, so that should be a lot of fun tonight. Still have our Flag Day uh, authentic helmets and our replica helmets. Um, we got a double uh, sold out, I think, in that one. Is it the Authentics, I think? Yeah. The Authentic the, Flag the Day? The Reps is a single and the Authentics is a double. Got our black box uh, jerseys. We call it the, uh, not not Paps, the Blue Ribbon, the Past and Present uh, series. We have the um, the Kitchen Sink Multi-Sport Mixer. I told you about that. Also have our loaded dice. This is what we call a crate. Three boxes. It's, it's essentially a triple box break replica helmets. So we have three crates left, uh, and they're, they're three boxes. Um, 125 bucks per spot there, but you get uh, three shots to win, and you will get the same division once we uh, we randomize. Also have our Danny Dimes Platinum Helmets. The uh, starting lineup, we got our, fi our final five boxes in that series. And we also have our Panini One football cards. If we sell one out, We'll do cards tonight, baby. We got Garrett. We'll, we'll, we'll break some cards tonight if we fill out a, a Panini One series. Let's start the show, as we always do, with the uh, virtual dice roll. You know what the rules are. Six or uh, higher. So I'm guessing when you mean one of you guys breaking the Frank Gore, I, I'm assuming you mean for the Flag Day. Uh, all the Flag Day full-size helmet top spot breaks will be done once the break has filled. I'm oh, sorry, once all the series has sold out, that's yes. what I mean. Yes. So we'll be doing the Singletary, the Donovan McNabb, the Frank Gore, the Kyler, and the uh, Dak. 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 Yeah, the Murray and the Dak of the Authentics. Correct. Once all of the Flag Day have sold out. So if you want to see those get broke sooner, buy into the Flag Day. Yeah, the, the faster we can sell them out, the sooner we can do the, uh, the top spot drawings for those helmets. Chris Brown, do you need a little Christian Okoye helmet? I think yeah, I don't know if you have one or you need another one. Uh, hey, the Nigerian nightmare, baby. Uh, it's all good. It's all good. How about a Tommy Kramer or Xavier? Hey, Xavier Howard, I think is in one of these. Uh, Yo, as many help. Xavier Howard is a good player, I, man. I don't appreciate no, the, no distance, Xavier. I don't appreciate the uh, Xavier Howard. Uh, he, he good slander. No, hey, Xavier Howard has led the league in picks two of the last three years. I think it's two of the last three. Look out, Paul Krause. Xavier yeah. Howard is coming. I appreciate for the uh, interceptions uh, record. I mean, if you want to, if you want to give either Joe or myself a Xavier Howard mini helmet as a tip, I'm 100 percent down for it. We're in. I'll take it. I, he will be allowed in the Bears household. I would agree. I, I, I'm trying to get all every team except for the cheese heads. <laughs> so, <laughs> how'd I do? Five. That's not going to cut it. I got to do it again. How about six? Hey, hey, baby. Let's rock and roll. That's what you like to see. Let's rock and roll. That's what we like to Six see. Six on the uh, dice roll. Let me put that up there. Not that I will forget that. But uh, so everyone can see. That's how many times we'll randomize the uh, NFL divisional breaks tonight, which again, they're, they're all divisional breaks tonight except the uh, the multi sport mixer. So let's. Uh, <laughs> Bob's got two of each. <laughs> What's up, Keegan? Welcome in, man. Chat is busy. And we, uh, we're going to start with the, the big mini. Uh, live break number one. This is the the first box break. These are single box breaks, we should note, for these mini helmets. Um, and then hey, we'll, hey, uh, hi, three is a double, four is a double right now. Hi, uh, Keegan. Hi, hi, uh, but, uh, and what's this Dutch? Yes, Bob, I almost forgot. My goodness. Right in front of me, uh, before we do this break, this is our Dutch auction item of the night. This is the Hall of Fame running back, the former Denver Bronco, two-time Super Bowl champ, the great. Terrell Davis. This is on his Georgia Bulldogs helmet, a uh, a speed replica helmet. Um, what's the, uh, the the little blemish on it? There's really not much. All it is, if you see in the auto, the T, it's just a little light. You know, sometimes we say, like, that's got a lot of ink on it. Sometimes when the, these helmets, these, these are signed in a, uh, this one anyway, a white paint pen. Sometimes you got to shake those up. The, the guy should be doing it probably after every autograph. And this um, this just wasn't, really wasn't done there. So the T, 
You can see that it's just a little light on the auto. We thought it was bad enough that uh, we weren't going to put it in a retail or put it in a brake. So this helmet retails for $385. It's a rep helmet, but it's the great Terrell Davis. All right, $385. We're going to drop 20 bucks off the top. Um, so it's on the uh, UA Live brakes page for $365. Terrell Davis, if you want it, go get it. It's the only one we have on the page. Uh, if no one buys it, this is how the Dutch works, the Dutch auction. We will drop that price, I don't know, 15 bucks or so, Gare, uh, every 15 minutes or whatever, you know, we, we, we remember it because sometimes we'll get busy with box breaks. Like, oh, we haven't dropped the Dutch uh, in 20 minutes or 25 minutes. So there it is, Terrell Davis on his Georgia Bulldogs college helmet. Uh, it, it, to me, it's it's. It's Terrell Davis. Yeah, that's also an Eclipse style. Go Dogs. Eclipse, yes. Eclipse style. Go Dogs. Dog. The first time I saw that, I was like, wow, that is an interesting Green Bay Packers Eclipse. <laughs> because normally the Packers Eclipses are right. black with the yellow G. Well, this is a Georgia Bulldog. Georgia Bulldogs. Keegan, I'm well. Thank you for asking. I like to mess with people who just acknowledge the host. Every, <laughs> for some reason... There is at least one or two people who say, hey, what's up, Donnie? And I'm just like over here, you know. <laughs> I'm a little love So here. I like to just mess around with people uh, because I am also part of the show. Yes, he is. The producer is big, as big a part of the show as the guy who's uh, in this chair. Yeah. And Garrett, uh, I, I, in, in, in this chair, many I, wear man, I wear many hats. E exactly. Let's randomize the divisions, and then we'll do a, a, box, a single box break for the uh, the first mini helmets. If you're in the uh, in this break, you want to call in a box number. It goes one through thirty. That's the way we're gonna roll. So 35. I got the first six. Is it thirty-five? It's not a thirty-five. It's not a thirty-five. On a thirty-five. I, my mistake. Thank you, Gear. No problem. Thirty-five. So it's numbered one through thirty-five. I got one through six up on the board. We'll break uh, those first. Let's. Um, oop, there we go. Uh, let's randomize six times. When I pop in, uh, yeah, Keegan, appreciate it, man. Good dude. Good to see you in the chat there. And we got uh, box one. There you go. No better way to start the series with, with the box one. That doesn't work. Right? Yeah. Five and six. There we go. And we'll do box one here. Get it started. Our first break of the night. We got Jay. Is it Fazekas? Jay? Jay's got three spots here. Ryan Murray. Has a spot. Micah, Jason, and Ryan McLaren has one. Michael LaPrey as well. All right, let's uh, let's do this. Jay, the first time I oh, I've kind of cut off the J there. Oh, let me, let me put it back on uh, at the top of the NFC North there. There we go. All right, we'll do box one. Let me grab box one of the minis. Yes, one of 35, not 30. Break room exclusive. Lots of fantastic uh, headliners in this big, big time QBs. Uh, the big mini, one of 35. Let's go. Good luck, everyone. Let's say back at COA. <clears throat> I didn't even mention this guy. This is not a headliner, but he's another good young quarterback. How about Sam Darnold. Ooh. Sam Darnold on a Panthers Eclipse. Oh, the way to start it, Garrett. That's a great way to start it. And for uh, since it is break room exclusive and a wood crate mini, all of these helmets are specialty helmets. So you're going to find Eclipses, Lunars, Chromes. Yeah, we got amps. Yep. Yeah. Do we have an amp in here? Uh, there's probably there might be an amp in there. Carolina, that's an NFC South hit for a Jason Del Margo. What's up, Jason? Congrats. That's a nice hit. Sam Darnold on the helmet of his new of his new team. We've seen we've had some Darnold uh, Lunars, uh, not this not this Eclipse on the uh, Panther helmet. Very nice. Sam Darnold. Gary, you think Darnold? Do you believe in Darnold? Oh, ah, yeah. I. Now, uh, before I, the Bears drafted Justin Fields, and I saw what Carolina gave up for him, which I didn't think was much, I thought, man, why did the Bears go after Sam Darnold? I'd rather take a shot at it on him than uh, roll with Andy Dalton. Yeah. And then we got Justin Fields, and we're all happy in Chicago. Uh, yeah, preliminary happiness. we got to see what happens on the field. True, true. But, uh, yeah, I mean, at least we have something to cheer about. Uh, that is a good point. No, we were stoked. I know you and you or Maddie were doing the... Uh, the draft night show, uh, you guys were stoked. I heard, like, over-the-top stoked 
when the we Bears were, uh, we, traded up to get Justin Fields. We were uh, we were excited, <laughs> to say the least. We were excited for sure. Jason, that's a nice hit, man. Sam Darnold out of uh, Eclipse. Big mini number one. One down, 34 to go. All right, there's Chris Bostain in the chat. Dirty Dancer. Love it. <laughs> How about uh, we do Flag Day? Flag Day Authentic Helmet. This is a double box break. Thanks for filling it out. Uh, leave two uh, two box numbers here. That mini was one. Let me take mini uh, off the screen. Otherwise, I'll forget, and then people will call out one. They're like, no, it's gone. It's my fault. Uh, you know how that goes. Dang. Bob with the... A little bit of hostility to start off the break. That's not, I hope that all oh, Bob. Now you're being very mean. Oh, Bob must. You know what? Because Bob's a Giants fan. Bob, you must be a Giant. You just gave yourself away, right? You must be a Giants fan. Of course, of course the Giants want the Bears to go 0 and 17 because they get the Bears pick. Oh. Garrett does not. Garrett does not like that to hear that, but oh. I get it. Then that makes sense. Oh. Exactly. There you go. Ah. Oh yeah, the Giants. Ah. I and mean, they they want the Bears to get steamrolled every ah. Giants fans. They want the Bears to get steamrolled ah, every now, week. Now I understand but Yeah, there you go. Now, now I understand where it's coming from. There you go. That makes sense. Because otherwise Bob is all love. He's just he's hard. Let's Bob is it. one of the wittiest guys, uh, bar none in the chat. I was gonna say that that is the first time I've seen any bear slander from Bob <laughs> before. Yeah. So yeah, they see there's an agenda. There's a little out of there, field there's for an me. agenda. A little out of left field for me, but there is an agenda. It makes more sense to me. I almost said 0 16, but of course, the NFL they've uh, added a game this year. Right. Six times we'll do this, and then we'll do uh, two boxes. And again, if you're in this break, you want to call out two uh, two box numbers, uh, we would appreciate it. Right? Full of love, Bob. We know. Four, five, and six. There we go. Flag Day. About two box numbers here. The box numbers I have for the uh, the Flag Day Authentic are 26, 27, 29, 32, and 33. 26, 27, 29, 32, and 33. We got Joshua in this break, Chris Gibbs, Brian, Danny Cash, what's up? He's got two spots, Johnny Ferris, Rick, uh, Ricky Ashley, what's up, Ricky, and uh, Zachary Erickson. How do you get into these? Uh, Danny Cumcakes wondering that in the chat. Um, I can put the link in the chat. It's basically you uh, you go to the uh, ultimateautographs.com page, you go to the uh, UA Live Breaks, and you'll see what's available where you can purchase a spot in a live break. Once it sells out, we'll open it uh, on screen as soon as we can. And uh, yeah, you, you, you take a shot. You get a you buy one spot and you have a one and eight shot of, of winning. You can always buy multiple spots in a break. So I can let me uh, I'll do that in a second here. Let's do this box break here. Josh Chucker, that a boy Josh calls on 27 and 29. 27 and 29. Let me grab him. We'll go with numerical order. We'll do 27 first. You know, flag day, 27 of 50. Yeah, we gotta get we gotta get moving on these so we can do those uh those top spot drawings for those uh, helmets. Good luck everyone here. And the winner of this break, you'll be uh, have the opportunity, there, there you go, to be entered into a uh, top spot break for a Dak Prescott authentic helmet. Uh, if you're not interested, we will uh, give you 10 bucks in UA cash. Just let us know what you want to do. Yeah, see, Bob says there in the chat, Gary, nothing personal against the Bears, but I'll take <coughs> excuse me, the high draft pick. No, no, no problem. I was confused on where the where they was coming from, but now <laughs> it makes complete sense. Okay. It's back at COA. Wait, who do we trade trade for the, uh, the the pick? Yeah, we 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 gave the Giants uh, draft picks. Oh, like for Justin ne Fields, yeah, next year's go. number one and um, another another couple picks. All right, we're good now. Now I'm understanding what's happening. Yeah, here we go. How about a Cowboy? It's the Hall of Famer, the recently inducted HOF. -er. It's Drew Pearson. We pull this out of the uh, the protective baggie. 
took way too oh, long. Oh, and you know this is fresh ink, so to speak, because he's already got the HOF 21 inscription on it. It's a oh, no. speed, authentic, it's a beauty. That is really nice. The great Drew Pearson, the wide receiver, Dallas Cowboys at NFC East. That's Chris Gibbs. What's up, Chris? The great Drew Pearson. It's nice. You know, Gary, I know Drew Pearson was way before your time because he played in the 70s, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and Super Bowl champ, all that. But uh, 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 Drew Pearson, back in the day, he had the big throw. Mm -hmm. Good-looking guy, you know. And now, as an older gentleman, he uh, he's bald. You know, he shaves the head. That works. But uh, he still looks great. Like he, can, he, can pull, he pulled off the big throw, and now he pulls off the bald head. Bald he, head. He, he looks... He still looks like he can get like 50 receptions in a season. Bang. Drew, Drew, he's the man. Drew Pearson. Nice hit for Chris Gibbs. You back, Chris. Thank you, man. That's nice. He's got a good auto. Good auto. Drew Pearson. All right, so last night, did we, did somewhere we, you was using some of the new the little rain bag here. Yeah. Like yeah. The trick-or-treat bag or laundry bag. Uh, these are like a tight fit. So if I struggle... With uh, getting this in the bag, I will do it after the show and not bore everyone. Look, I, I got it. Oh, I got it. Last night, I, went, I put in a helmet, Garrett. I, four tries, I gave up. I just had I had to handle it after the show. But I got it in there. I'm thrilled. Chris, let us know. You want to be? Uh, I'm assuming you want to be entered into the uh, the Dak Prescott uh, replica break. Uh, I chased the chat that I missed the Flag Day replica. We have not done that yet. Chris Gibbs, let us know if we're going to be entered into the uh, the Drew Pearson. I'm, I'm going to guess yes. Let me write that down. Yes, you got it, Chris. Thanks, man. We'll put you in that uh, top spot. Again, we'll do that. Once we sell out, we already sold out of the uh, the Flag Day mixer, the, the football mixer, the Flag Day jersey. We still have the reps and the authentics. This is uh, box two here, 29 of 50. This, um, this is from the Donovan McNabb replica helmet, as you can see on the, on the little uh, yellow construction flag there. You see those little flags like in the construction? Yeah. Did they, <laughs> what, did you like, don't you, dig here. Or was that just a jackhammer noise? Yeah, it was like a jackhammer. I was like, what was that? I was like, what's going on? I didn't even plan that. It just, it just. Wow, <laughs> felt natural. <laughs> felt natural. <laughs> that was good. That was good. I got a uh, back COA here with this one. We got, this will not go in Garrett's house. This is a Packer. This is I'm on green. Packers speed speed uh, authentic. I should say. I almost said replica. Authentic. This is a great. Uh, we admit it. This guy was very good. He was very he was good. An outstanding right. football player. Running back. I'm on green. Packers. That goes to the NFC North. And Johnny Ferris. What's going on, Johnny? It's admittedly a nice helmet. It's cool. Yeah. It's a cool lid. I'm on green. Former uh, offensive player of the year, he signs that on some of the helmets. He did. He did go to Nebraska. Yes, we've had his uh, Nebraska helmets. Uh, we have, yeah, signed helmets as well. I want to say we have some of his Nebraska jerseys as well. Yes, yeah. yes. All right, well done, boys. What's up, Johnny? Congrats. Amon Green, great auto. I also give him props here. It's a great auto by Amon Green. It's a lovely autograph. That's how you uh, write, yeah. kids. I like that. All right, that was a flag day. Oh, Johnny, uh, I'm assuming, did you want to be in the, uh, what did I say, Donovan McNabb? Yeah, I think it's Donovan McNabb. McNabb helmet spot or uh, 10 bucks in uh, UA money? Let's see what I do if I get this in the bag. Hold on. Oh, I got it. I think the key is I got to start at the bottom of the bag. And then uh, work. There we go.
Johnny, you want to be in the top spot? You got it, Johnny. We'll put you down for the, the uh, McNabb. All right. How about uh, let's, let's, that one is done. Flag day authentic. Let me take the box numbers off the uh, the screen. 20 to 27 to 29. 27 to 29 we just did on the authentic. I'm going to take those off the screen. You see the box numbers. Those are the box numbers. Uh, if you're not uh, if you're not familiar with the show, at the bottom of the screen on the crawl there, those are the box numbers we have in the room. That was Flag Day Authentic Live Break number one. Let's do uh, a mini, the big mini, a single box break again. Then we'll get into the the uh, double box breaks. This is the big mini. Uh, it wasn't McNam. I thought it was Dak uh, J. Uh, well. For the helmet spots, the first one was for uh, Dak Prescott. Um, Chris Gibbs had Dak Prescott, and Johnny had Donovan McNabb. Yes. There are five helmets that you could get flags for. It's either Dak, Kyler, Donovan McNabb, Mike Singletary, or Frank Gore. Right. The, and the Dak and the uh, uh, Kyler Murray are authentic helmets. The other three are uh, replica helmet spots. Correct. All right, let's do the big mini number two, single box break. We'll do that. Brad's already called down three. That a boy, Brad. Three on the uh, the mini. Brad's got what? I think three spots here. Looks like two, three, or maybe two, two, five, and six. There's our list. Yeah, we got Michael, Brad's got two, Brandon, Dave, Jonathan Lang. What's up, Jonathan? And Ricky's got a pair of spots here as well. How do you get in for the Kyler uh, helmet? Uh, well, that's if you win. Well, you got a couple things. You have to win a flag day break, either the authentic or the reps. And then if if it's Kyler Murray, that when we open the box on the flag, and if you win the break. Or you can just enter into the mini helmet because we have a Kyler Murray uh, Lunar in the the new mini helmet series. You know what yes, you might want to do? Let's drop the Flag Day video. It's going to explain everything a little bit better. Let's Since do we've that. We've had a lot of questions regarding it. Let's let's do that. Let's open this box first. It's a single box, and then gear. Good idea. We will uh, normally work. We're, we're basically commercial free here for a couple hours, but uh, we will run that promo on the Flag Day. Just uh, I know it's been up for a while, for a couple weeks now. But uh, good idea, gear. Let's do the box here. We will do three on the mini. Box three, Brad called out first. Hold on. Joe, careful. Fumble. Fumble. I'd be cut on day one here. No. I'd be cut. No. Aguilar, hang on to the darn ball. Just, Three out of 35. They probably move you, and then if you didn't do well, then they cut you. <laughs> Is that how it works? They move you to, like, DB, and then if you <laughs> still can't cover anybody or whatever, then you get cut. <laughs> then, then you're gone. Back at COA. I think you're going to like it. think this, you're going to like I think, it. I think this will work. think you're going to like I it. I think this will work. How about the great... Justin Herbert. He's great already after one year. I was a little premature there. We don't want to put him in the Hall of Fame just yet. Uh, but he was the Offensive Rookie of the Year. What a year he had in 2020. Justin Herbert. That's a Chargers hit, of course. AFC West and the guy who called out the box wins the helmet. Brad Egger. There you go, Brad. That's fire. That's a headliner. Of course, Justin Herbert. One down. What's up, Jonathan Lang? Brad, I think Brad was uh, who won the Hank Aaron jersey in the mixer. Was that you, Brad, right on was. Sunday? I pulled it for him. That's right. Yes. Wow. I was just like, wow, wow, wow. That was sick. Justin Herbert. Congrats, Brad. Very nice. Yeah. Way to go, Brad. Thank you, man. Herbert. 
Wait, anyone who bought Justin Herbert memorabilia a year ago is like, wow, man, because that had to go up. Because I, I know he was a top 10 pick last year, but no one knew how good he was going to be, if he was even going to play. You just don't know, right? As we know in Chicago with our quarterbacks um, who go very high in the draft. But he had he had a, just a fantastic rookie uh, campaign. Great hit there for Brad Eggers. So. Oh, yes, just got in the mail today. Hell yeah. Oh, I'll bet. Is, is that sweet or what, Brad? I mean, that is... Sometimes you win here, and then sometimes, like, you just... Like, you win. And that was... That was an over-the-top win. The Hank Aaron jersey. Hell yeah. Um, congratulations on that. And this is uh, Justin Herbert. All right, let's... Uh, as Gary mentioned, let's let's show this Flag Day uh, video. It's about a, about a minute. Um, and then we will get back to opening some boxes... That was the uh, big mini live break number two. Again, uh, break room exclusive here, 35 boxes, no retail purchases on the mini helmets. So let's let me find the, the flag day. Uh, here we go. June 14th is flag day, the day that commemorates the adoption of the Stars and Stripes by the United States in 1777. It's like the 4th of July, but a lot less cool. Even though it's a nationally recognized holiday, Nothing special has ever happened because of Flag Day. Ultimate Autographs is about to change that with four special Flag Day Mystery Box Series. One Jersey Mystery Box Series, one Replica Helmet Series, one Authentic Helmet Series, and one Mixer Series. There are 200 boxes in total. Each box contains a little yellow flag. Written on each flag is the description of one of five possible replica or authentic helmets signed by past and present stars. When you see the name of the player on your flag, you can choose to be entered into a top spot break for their signed lid, or you can choose to forego your spot and walk away with $10 in UA cash. Do your patriotic duty and purchase a specially marked Flag Day mystery box today at ultimateautographs.com. All right, there you go. So hopefully that explains it. Uh, again, we've sold out of the uh, uh, football mixer and the jerseys last week. We still have the Authentics and the Replica Helmet Series available. Now, once we uh, finish those off, we will do the drawing for the uh, the helmets. All right, let's do uh, let's do, do a triple box here. Break. This is the uh, loaded dice number one. The way this works is this was thirty boxes. We put them in crates, quote unquote. Three boxes, and we, uh, hence the name of the series, Loaded Dice. We, we tricked it up the boxes, so in each of the three boxes that we'll break, again, we'll randomize, you'll get a division. You'll save the same division for all three spots. Uh, we have one headliner guaranteed amongst those three helmets. Uh, they're all pretty good names. I mean, the other day we pulled uh, the Air Coriel, and there was also Michael Irvin in that, in one of the three boxes, too. So, I mean, Michael Irvin's a headliner all, all day, all night, right? So, uh Interested to see the hit. So if you're in this loaded dice, again, triple box break, essentially, uh, let us know. We got we got crates, quote-unquote, 8, 9, and 10. Those are our final three crates of three, if that makes, uh, if you follow me there. So 10 for the loaded dice. Uh, it's already in there. Beautiful. We got that. Uh, we had that. So we will do crate 10. I'll randomize the names first, and then uh, we'll do these three boxes. And we see, we got um, Brandon Fox. Uh, Garrett typed in, welcome back. I know Brandon's been, been a uh, frequent customer of ours uh, at UA in the breaks and uh, hadn't seen his name in a while. So uh, welcome back, Brandon, and uh, good luck, guys, here. Everyone in this uh, break here. Let's randomize the names six times, and then we will do three boxes. Four, five, and six. Here we go. Brandon's going to have the uh, NFC North. All right. All right. Let me grab the boxes and we will we'll do it. So the boxes will do 28, 29, and 30, the way this will uh, works out. 28, 29, 
and 30. We'll start with 28. And good luck, everyone, here. I think you love these boxes. They're really cool. They are. They're dope. Let's see who we have here. Replica helmets. Got a Beckett COA. How about a Steeler? This is the uh, former fullback, the great Jerome Bettis. Now, you talk about an auto, baby. Look at this. Look at this auto. This is uh, a pro line replica helmet. That, my friends, is what you call a lot of ink. Wow. A AFC North hit here with the, uh, the Steelers. AFC North is Dave Vanderbeck. Dave, way to go, man. Love this. Love it. I got to tell you, we, we've seen a lot of Jerome Bettis. Enough, anyway. Where I don't know if I've seen an auto that big by his. No. I mean, that is huge. Huge. Yep. I really like that. That's got to be like auto with number one of the day. I am right. Like, you're itching to do some autographs, so you just hit it real freaking big. Dang. The bus. And I think it was our own Matt Salas who um, pointed out to me the dots there uh, at the end of the auto on his name represent the, the wheels on the bus. Perfect. Get it? I'd love to see it. <laughs> I, you know, the first time I saw his auto, I'm like, that must mean something. What are the dots? And then uh, Matt pointed out, yeah, that's... Uh, that's the story. Wheels on the bus. Uh, he just, I mean, he plowed over guys. Uh, us Bears fans, I think, Gary, you remember that. You know where I'm going to go with this. I know exactly where you you're going. You know where I'm going. I've mentioned this before. Where he, one, it was a wintry day in Pittsburgh. They were playing our Bears. And he just kept steamrolling the great Brian Erlacher. No one did that to Erlacher. No one. Jerome Bettis did that day. Including a very famous photo where he steamrolls him through into the end zone. Yes. Yep. I mean, mad props for uh, the great uh, Jerome Bettis. Uh, Dave, nice hit there, man. Really nice hit. All right, that's one of three. Uh, so we finished. We just filled up bi the big mini number five, a double box break. Do we want another double or do we want a quad? Let me know in the chat. Two's in the chat for a qu uh, double. Four's in the chat for a quad. Oh, I got 30. We'll do, we'll do 29. I just grabbed the wrong box. 20, 29 of 30. For the record, Bettis is uh, not a headliner in that uh, in this um, loaded dice. I don't believe he is. Is that up there? I don't think he is. No, he's not a headliner. Correct? Yeah. Well, we got a little bit of hit headliners in there, so that that's one. We might. I mentioned Irvin a little while ago, and that I mean Jerome Bettis could be a headliner in any series we do. All right, let's see what we have here. Back at COA, I think this is a headliner. He's a headliner in every series. Some some don't like the guy, but I think this is cool. This is OJ, baby. OJ, it's the headliner on a Bills Eclipse. Look at that. OJ's got it. Say what you want about OJ. No, don't, don't say what you want about OJ. Uh, but that's a good auto, too. Please keep it clean. Keep it clean, yes. We uh, The kids are watching. Uh, there were the eight with the HOF 85 inscription. Buffalo Bills hit very nice. AFC East is Michael LaPre. Michael, there you go. OJ. OJ on an eclipse. That's juice, baby. The juice. Yeah, we know. He's on the loose. Or he was. Now he's on the loose again. He was, and then he was, and now he's on the loose again. It's a free man. OJ very active on uh, Twitter. He is very active on Twitter. Right? <laughs> he is very active on Twitter. Uh, not one of the people I follow, but he is very active on Twitter. I see a lot of people retweeting OJ stuff. Yes. Yeah, I'm just like you. I don't follow OJ, but you see enough of it because people are retweeting it. Yep. Yeah, Nick, I agree. Nick, Nick Perrine, what's up, Nick? It's nice. Nice helmet. That goes on to a Michael... Got one more here in this uh, loaded dice.
Now these are these are the good laundry bags. These ain't big cloth bags. All right, one more here. This is thirty of thirty. The box. Filling the gap on the screen there. Oh, is that <laughs> Bob's like? Yeah, I, I see where you're going, Bob. Thirty of thirty. Here we go. Good luck, everyone. Thanks for filling this on. This is not a a cheap uh, break spot. One more. It's a uh, Schwar uh, Schwartz COA. Schwartz Sports COA. How about uh, how about Jamal Lewis on a uh, Ravens? Isn't that a nice helmet? So is that a uh, pro line? Yeah, a pro line um, replica helmet. Uh, Jamal Lewis. Look at that. Look at that. Another big auto man. Great with the uh, Super Bowl. Know, it's a thirty-five champs. The Ravens. Nice. Jamal Lewis. It's a good J. It's a good L. And then even a little a uh, little more to it as well. Baltimore Ravens. AFC North. Oh, it's Dave again. Dave Vandermeck just took two spots here. Dave, congrats, man. Jamal Lewis, he'd run you over. It's true. Uh, one of the many, not the many, but one of the many few. One of the. He's a 2,000 yard rusher, that's all I'm trying to say. Yeah, the 2,000 yard club. He is a part of the 2,000 yard club. Speaking of which, good segue, Gear. Um, if you want that, uh, Terrell Davis, he of the 2,000-yard uh, season in 1998, uh, we still have that. We'll drop that. Pro we haven't dropped it. We haven't dropped, I don't think we dropped it yeah, yet tonight, I have we? I dropped it to 345. Oh, you did. The 345 for, uh, the Terrell Davis. Thank you, Dave. Congrats. Nice hits here with uh, Jerome Bettis and two really good running backs. Jerome Bettis and uh, Jamal Lewis, two former running backs. Yeah, the Terrell Davis, again, it's a, I can show it to you again if you're interested. Got any Broncos fans or just like Hall of Famers? Who doesn't like Terrell Davis? Terrell Davis, funny, you know, he, he played, he only played seven seasons in the NFL. And actually the last three, he was so banged up, he only played, I was looking it up before the show, like 16 games over the final three years of his career. So did not have a long NFL career, but he, when he was healthy, he was fabulous. Uh, you know, and... and was inducted into the uh, Hall of Fame. Yeah, he played four. Is it only seven seasons, I think? Or eight, maybe seven or eight? Five. Seven seasons. Seven. Retired at 29. 4,000 yard, uh, sorry, 4,000 yard plus r rushing seasons, including three that were above 1,500 yards and, of course, 1,000. Of course, one with... 2,000 yards, 21 touchdowns. Yeah, how about that for a season? And right? a Super Bowl championship. And he was the uh, league MVP in uh, that season, 90, 98. 98. Nice. Loaded dice, number one, line break number one. Uh, in the nice. chat, speaking of Terrell Davis, I got my other Terrell Davis Dutch auction. Uh, th oh, awesome. Awesome. Do you want another one? Got, got another one. Who went to Terrell Davis? TD. TD, right. That was loaded dice. Let's do uh, the big mini. Uh, live break number three. This is a double box break. Double box break here. We've done one and three. I'll take three off the screen. All right, let's randomize the divisions here, and we'll do this uh, double box break on the, uh, the minis. Six times tonight. I like that. Lots of great QBs in this uh, in this helmet series, this new mini helmet series, which we just dropped tonight. Six. There we go. All right. How about two box numbers here? I got uh, I got two, four, five, six. 
We'll do those, and then we'll just keep going up the ladder here. Yeah, John Elway's in this one. Talk about, about two box numbers here. If you're in this break, we got Bob, George. What's up, George? Uh, Garrett has got, uh, not this Garrett, Garrett uh, Bartels has two spots. Micah, George Dean has a pair of spots, and Ricky Guerrero. Two. Bob calls out two. That a boy, Bob. And he one more box. Two and six. There we go. Beautiful, boys. Two and six. Let me grab two and six. Two and six. All right, let me take two and six off the screen for the big mini. All right, good luck here. This is two, we'll do two first. Got a PSA, COA. Chris Brown, are you in the chat? He is. Chris, did you need Christian Okoye? <laughs> did you need Christian Okoye, Chris? Uh, AFC uh, West. <laughs> is that a lunar? It's a cool helmet. Uh, I shouldn't be laughing. AFC West is Garrett Bartels. Garrett, don't listen to Chris Brown. This is a nice hit. <laughs> Christian cool. Okoye. Cool little lunar. Lunar's a dope. Absolutely. This this is a pretty. I don't care. I hate to use the word pretty. I know it's not masculine, ah, but it's a pretty helmet. It's a pretty. These lunars are really cool. Christian Okoye. Uh, he probably would have signed Nigerian Nightmare on there, but he just didn't have enough room. It's a mini. Uh, Garrett, could go. Uh, congratulations. <laughs> Six one six two two for Garrett Akoye. No, I would advise against that. You didn't want it to. No, right, Akoye, man. He had legs like Garrett. This Garrett. I mean, big, big, strong dude, man. <laughs> uh, thank you. Let's go like the Earl, the Earl Campbell uh, thighs. You uh -huh. see that? Famous, Man, right? if I could have replicated the play where he ripped through his jersey and kept running, oh, I would right. have been so excited Garrett, for life. Yeah, uh, Garrett, Garrett, uh, uh, Earl Campbell, rather. Yeah, that was that was awesome. That's, a, oh, that's one of the best highlights ever. Uh, yeah, Garrett Campbell, no relation to Earl Campbell. No. Just to, just that to, would just also to, be Just to clarify. Sweet. Just to clarify. That would be awesome. But also a fullback, also big, strong, and will knock you over. Yeah. Very, very, very similar. I, 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 I can be honest in the chat. I've let myself go a little bit post football, but we're working on our, trying to get back. Uh, he's strong like bull, as they say. You know, might might be getting back on the rugby rugby field here. Rugby? Oh, you're a rugby guy. Yeah, I played rugby in high school for three years. Oh ago. man, that's you, that's. A I haven't sport. said that. I haven't told you that. Uh, you, you, you know what? I think you told me that way back when when uh, I first started here. Uh, Forgot about that. Played for three years, won a state championship my senior year. Uh, that that's a man's game. That was fun. Wow. PSA COA on this one. Every now and then this happens. Every now and then this happens. Where we pull mm. the same team oh. back to back. How does this happen? That's how the box numbers are different. It's Dante Hall. And it's also on a Lunar. Garrett Bartels, if you didn't have a Lunar collection, you just started one. If you don't have a Lunar Chiefs collection, you now have one. <laughs> yeah. If you're not a Chiefs fan now, you have to be a Chiefs fan now you're a Chiefs. Now you gotta be right. Yeah, pretty good team to root for, I'd say. Yeah, the, the quarterback I heard is pretty good. Some people may call you a fair weather fan, but just let them know. Hey, <laughs> I won two lunars in the ultimate autographs live break, and then we'll get a new customer, and you'll get a friend who now buys in the breaks along with you, and it's a whole trickle down effect, which actually sounds fantastic. Right. Yeah. There you go. Garrett Bartels, way to go. Yeah, the the human joystick. The great uh, Dante Hall. The second best returner of all time. Yes. <laughs> and we're not biased. We're just saying. No. Uh, yeah. We're just saying. Obviously, obviously, it's Josh Cribbs. Speaking of Devin Hester, <laughs> yes, it's Josh Cribbs. Uh, we haven't had a Devin Hester in a while. I don't no, think. we have not right. had any D. Hester. We need to get some more Devin Hester memorabilia. True. Dante Hall, Lunar. I'm sure those were back to back Chiefs Lunars. Yeah. There it go. doesn't always happen that way. The way the boxes mix together. 
Garrett. Well done. Speaking of Chiefs, we I don't think we've ever had Patrick Mahomes either. We've had a photo, right? Or oh, still yeah. have it, or had it. We've had a Patrick Mahomes photo, I believe. But um, very tough autograph uh, to attain. Read. Yes. Yeah, and the, with the with the pandemic and everything, yeah, a lot of you know the signings were were at a minimum. So um, I don't know. Hopefully, we can get some that, Patrick Mahomes stuff. Would be sick. I'm guessing that might be a headliner. If we got any Patrick Mahomes, just guessing. No, nah, this is where we'd like throw TB12 in as a headliner, and then have Patrick Mahomes is just like a hidden headliner, lingering, just kind of hanging lingering. out. Lingering. <laughs> How about Tampa Bay eight and zero in Game Five? Scored two to one Tampa Bay tonight. Wow! Wow! Really? The lightning man. Whew. <laughs> I hear you, Chris. Sorry. Was Sorry. It, was a T Lawrence coming? Hopefully soon. Uh, hopefully soon. Yes. Uh, Garrett. Uh, right now, the only uh, rookie that we have on their team is Justin Fields, and with us being located near the city of Chicago, it's a little easier for us to attain, but hopefully we'll get some Trevor Lawrence. Maybe like maybe a nice little Clemson dual auto, but it's like it's Travis Etienne mm-hmm. and Trevor Lawrence on a, on a Jaguars hit. You know, definitely need some Trey Lance, uh, Zach Wilson. Uh, hopefully we get some um, uh, Kyle Pitts would be sick. Yeah, yeah. I just saw an inventory that we had a uh, Travis Etienne um, jersey, Clemson jersey on a Clemson jersey. Yeah, really. He had cool. a nice auto too on it. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, we just saw that. I don't know when it's going to be in a I guess, I guess, series, but I guess uh, look, soon. look out for a college sport mixer. Yes, yes. We are doing a uh, flag day here. Uh, is it flag day? That is. Uh, yeah, flag, flag day replica one. Flag day replica one. Chris Brown's actually for box 16. Oh, Chris. Helps me. Let's randomize the divisions, the names, I should say, and then put them in a division. Use the proper phrasing, Joe. Uh, three, well, te- four. Te- technically, you're right. Technically, you are randomizing the divisions, but by using the names as the random, you know. Yeah. 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 It's like six of one, half of maybe. maybe. Uh, you know. Yeah. Math wasn't my strong suit. Who knows? <laughs> six. There we go. Chris Hammers got the NFC North. What's up, Chris? I'm looking for the Packers. Packers. All right, we are going to do uh, sixteen on the box for. The uh, Flag Day wraps uh, 16. Yeah. Oh. Let me take that off the screen. Oh, mind you. Flag Day wraps. Oh. Take 16 off. Got 16 on the wrap. Let me grab it. Stop it, Lolo. Give me the digs. Stefan Diggs, yeah. 16 of 50. Let's do it. Good luck here. We got Nestor's got two spots. Chris Hammers. Chase. Brandon. Chris Brown. Ryan Murray. Jason Short. Familiar names. All right, this. This is you don't you don't need that. That's only if you purchase at retail. And you wonder like why is there a flag in this box that UA sent me? Uh, this is for the Mike Singletary replica helmet break. Mike Singletary, our guy in Chicago. Let's see who we, who we have here. Well, there's a PSA COA. Then there's no name on it. So hopefully we can figure this out. Between the two of us, I'm confident. Let's so, This, <laughs> that's a college helmet. Okay. That's it's easy. a college helmet. That's um, you can read that. It's, oh, it's John Hanna. You can it's read John that. Hanna. You can read John Hanna, the that. two-time All-American at Alabama, the former Patriots, the Patriots hit. This is the Hall of Fame offensive guard. Patriots is the AFC East, and that's Chris Brown. Chris, there you go, man. It wasn't Diggs, but it's uh, a dub. It's a dub. It's a guy who's a Hall of Famer. John Hanna. Who uh, was in our uh, UA studios uh, about a month ago or so? Mm-hmm. Recently here, get a little better look at the auto there. Great auto, John Hanna, man. Kitchen sink mixer. I'm gonna say about twenty. 
I think about 20. Let me, maybe I can, I can look at inventory here. I like this Bama helmet. And Chris, let us know if you uh, want to be entered into the uh, helmet spot for the uh, Mike Singletary full-size replica or uh, 10 bucks in uh, UA cash. Your, your call. Chris, it would have been funny if you won the Akoya. I'm just saying. But you probably would have been very mad at me, and I don't want that to be the case. So, John Hanna. John Hanna was not only, like, good when he played, obviously Hall of Fame career, but uh, I think I had read when he retired. I don't know if it was, like, the Sporting News or someone who did a list. They named him the second best offensive lineman ever. I mean, that's probably a little hyperbole, but you get the point. This is, like, was a no-doubter Hall of Fame guy, John Hanna. Uh, number one, I think they had listed was uh, the great Anthony Munoz. I met him once. You met Anthony Munoz? I did yeah. We uh, did my my parents and I were uh, went to stay in Ohio near Ohio near Canton. Okay. Uh, and we went to a Father's Day, like kind of hang out with your dad, take a tour, and then Anthony Munoz was there, and I have a I have a mini football signed by Anthony really? Munoz. Yeah. Nice. I don't think it's in very good condition because it was on like one of those little mini rubber footballs that you get. Oh, like yeah. At, yeah. Yeah. But I did meet, meet him once. There's probably a picture of me with him somewhere. somewhere that's cool. My, yeah. Munoz was, again, incredible. I mean, wow. I yeah. mean, that's one of those like, wow, this is the great. This is not just a guy who played in the NFL. Yes. This is one of the best ever at his position. That's right. All right. That was the Flag Day replica. And, um,. Chris Brown, do you want to be into the uh, Singletary? Did I miss that maybe in the chat? I'm going to assume that's a yes. For uh, Chris Brown. All right, that was the uh, the rep, live break number one. Let's do the uh, another double here in the uh, in the mini. This is the, the big mini, number four double box break. And I got two boxes here, um, and then we'll just move on. So we'll do four and five here with this double, and then uh, we'll just go up the list. I'll put seven through whatever, 14. They'll just keep going up. Gotcha, Chris. Thank you, man. Double box break here on the mini helmets. I'll just put the... Uh, the list up there for everyone to see it. There we go. Six times on the randomizer. Let us know if you are interested in that Terrell Davis Dutch auction it, item. It is at 325. 325. It's a rep helmet, but it's Terrell Davis. And again, the only thing um, that, that's the only reason why it's in a Dutch is because it's a little light on the ink where he signs the, the T. I can show it to you again if you're interested. Four, five, and six. There we go. All right, let me grab uh, boxes four and five. We'll do those. We'll do four, then we'll do five. Uh, we have... Are we close to a double break for the uh, Flag Day wrap? All right. You, you're the first one who bought in, Chase. So there's still seven spots left. Let's fill it. PSA, COA. Sure. This happens sometimes. I don't, I don't know how this happens. It happens. It's John Hanna. It's John. Oh. I get back to back. John Hanna. This time it's on a Patriots and it's on a Lunar. That autograph looks familiar. So we just saw it two minutes ago. It's another Patriots hit. Uh, AFC East is Brandon Hustler. What's up, Brandon? John Hanna. More John Hanna. 
Did we tell you John Hanna was really good at football? Did we just tell you that? Uh, it's a nice helmet. Look at the Hanna here, too, on his auto. Um, I can't remember. His, I, I think what you see in the J, it's kind of hard to see that. He, like, writes the, the jersey number in the J. And that is, um, I think it's 73 was John Hanna, his jersey number. So we pull, sometimes we pull back-to-back -back team, sometimes we pull back-to-back -back player in a, on a different helmet, different size or a different or a jersey. All right, that's box one, and it's a double. We'll do box two here. <laughs> All right. Let's do the second one here. Box five. Five of 35. Break room exclusive. All specialty helmets. And some really fabulous headliners. Lots, lots of great QBs. See if uh, we have one in, in this box. Five. Box five. It's a JSA COA. This is Maurice Jones Drew. Some people just call him MJD. Duval till we die inscription. Jags. Always signs it in the crown. I like that. Most of the stuff I've seen from him signs it on the crown of the helmet. Uh, Panthers, or uh, not Panthers, Jags, I'm sorry. Jacksonville, Jags, AFC South is uh, Ricky Guerrero. Ricky, congrats. Maurice Jones drew. I like it. Congrats, Ricky. How are you doing, Gare? Good. Yeah, we just filled up uh, the mini double number six. Uh, and so I got mini number seven. That's a double as well. Uh, again, if you are if you are looking for maybe an Octo, not an Octo, well, maybe an Octo. Uh, if you're looking for maybe in a uh, quad box breaker, uh, another, a different uh, numbered break, let me know in the chat. Or uh, if not, I'll just keep uh, dropping doubles. Yeah, we can't do personals tonight with this... Um the, the mini helmets. This is a, again, break room exclusive. Bob's up for a quad. Big mini, that was number four we just did. Let's do, um, let's keep doing, the, we'll keep rolling with the minis. We'll keep rolling with the uh, the minis. Uh, big mini number five double. Let me put some more boxes up there. Oh, Katrina's in for a quad. All right, we'll sw I'll switch. I'll switch number. I'll switch number seven to a quad then. Ricky's in for an octo. All right, we got to build up to an octo there, Ricky. All right, we got some people in for some uh, a, quad, go. a quad box break. So let's, like that. let's do that quad. Just put some new box numbers on the screen for the minis. We're just going right up the line. We've, we've done six so far, and I just put 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 up on the, uh, on the board, on the screen. I'll have to do this. Let's randomize again, and we'll do another couple minis. Yeah, Nick, uh, fair question. Uh, I was thinking the kind of the same thing. I don't know if Garrett's better able to answer that question. I've thought about that, too. Uh, but uh, I don't make the rules, obviously. Uh, so we haven't quite figured out... Yeah, yeah, we haven't quite figured out 
the best way to do that, yes, the disclaimer works, but it's 100% possible that, you know, someone may not read this, the disclaimer and might just buy in and see the minis. Um, so we haven't quite figured out a way to do it where we could have people buy personals and that they automatically have to open them live. Uh, that's stuff that uh, is a little bit out of my range of knowledge. Yeah, I, I like that concept. Uh, if Donnie were here, you, Donnie might be able to better articulate an answer to that, but um, I'm not that Garrett did right there, but we're, I, 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 cause I, I was thinking the same thing, like, why can't we just do it, but you have to open it uh, uh, on camera. But we appreciate the feedback, Nick, as always. Nick's always got good ideas for us, seriously. Five and six. All right, how about two boxes here? Uh, I, got, I got seven, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and 13 up on the screen for the uh, big mini helmet series, the box numbers here. We got Matthew Thanison, Thin I'm gonna guess how you pronounce your last name, Matthew, Burdell, Ricky, Bill Norton, Kane, Kane Crago, what a great name that is. Uh, Dave Harris, Cade, uh, Abshire, and Katrina, what's up, Katrina? Two boxes here, if you will, please, and then we will we will do this a double box break for this uh, mini helmet. Need two numbers, seven, seven through thirteen, on the box numbers. Nobody. Two box numbers, then we'll then we'll, we'll break them. There's one. There's eleven. Thank you. Is that is that Kane? Who's uh, who's OMG, it's Nemo. Uh, that, uh, or is, that, is that Bill? 11. Got 11. one more box. And then Katrina calls in 7 and 8. Thank you, Katrina. Uh, we had 11 in and 7, so we'll do 11 and 7. 11 and 7. Yeah, I mean, I mean, that, I mean, mm, uh. Seven eleven, like the store. That's Kane. What's up, Kane? Thank you, man. Seven. We'll do seven, then eleven. Box seven. Say, uh, Beckett. Beckett, see away. Nice player here. Nice young player to league. Say uh, KC Chief, another, another Chief. This is uh, McCall Hardman, the speedy, speedy, speedy wide receiver. I know Tyree Kill is, you know, the cheat and all that, but this guy also can fly. AFC West there hit uh, for Ricky Guerrero. Ricky Hardman's a good player, man. He this kid is uh, was a nice draft pick for the uh, the Chiefs. I want to say maybe like a third or fourth rounder. Cole Hardman. Super Bowl champ. That's right, box one in this mini break. McCole Hardman. They're pulling the Chiefs. Holy Chiefs, Batman is right, Nick, right? Lots of Chiefs. On, on uh, I think it's our third Chiefs lunar pool. I know it is. It's our third lunar pool. What's up, Steve Bacon? Okay, so uh, I guess the only way for breaking exclusive stuff, if you want a personal, is you could buy all eight spots. Well, that, that you could you could do that. You could buy all, all eight spots at the, at the moment. That is the best way we can do the personals. Um, is for if you are interested, is to buy. All eight spots, but the only way, but that too, you wouldn't be able to call out your your box number. So we would so, just go up the boxes. Well, I in that in, no no because technically whoever's in the break gets to pick out their box number. We've done that in the past where if someone buys out the entire break, okay, they get to pick their box number. Okay, because I think we've had people buy into an entire break via that was a break room exclusive, 
And since we're like, oh, looks like you bought the entire break, would you like to pick your box? Okay. Because at that moment in time, although I think at some point we could put in the title, this is a break room exclusive, it has to be open live. So maybe uh, maybe for the next break room exclusive, we'll, we'll get... We'll figure out how we can make it where it's uh, uh, has the ability to be open live well, for a personal. That is just just for fun's sake. Uh, the math on that twenty four times eight would be one hundred ninety two dollars. There you go. I, I didn't know that off the top of my head. I I had to use the calculator because I'm not that good with math. But that'll be that'll be one ninety two if you bought out the entire. We've had guys do that. Yep. We've had guys uh, not in, I don't know about in a mini, but in some other breaks. Yeah, absolutely. We've had guys buy six, seven, of eight spots. I've seen that. Big Mini, this is box 11. Ricky wins the Nicole Hardman uh, helmet. Mini. Now, this is another Chief. It's uh, PSA, COA. Are you kidding me? I, 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 this is nuts. Another Chief. I was just going to say, if I pull another Chief, I'm leaving the room. Here, take over. Okay. Uh, this is Will Shields, the Hall of Fame offensive guard. Wow. It's a Chiefs night. Isn't it enough that they won the Super Bowl and they've been in back-to-back Super Bowls? This We get a lot of Chiefs love here at UA tonight. Uh, again, it's Ricky Guerrero. How'd that happen? Will Shields. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I hear you. It's one of those crazy nights. Crazy nights. Wow. Our next hit, well, our next pull will be Patrick Mahomes. Then no one will be saying, oh, another Chief. Or Tyreek Hill or Travis. Or Tyreek. <laughs> yeah, we got a lot of them. Or we somehow get a Derek Thomas auto. Oh, on a oh gosh. Wouldn't it be nice to have Derek Thomas? It would be incredible. It would be incredible. God rest his soul. Uh, the great Derek Thomas. It would be incredible. Thanks, G. <laughs> Good one. Good one, Ricky. Love the wit. Love the wit. Wow. Will Shields. Well, I can always shoot. We need to do, I know what we need to do. Play. A multi-sport mixer where we pull like a baseball bat or something. Then we'd probably pull a Royal or something. I don't know. Not that we have a Royal in the mixer. Yeah, what if we got a Bo Jackson Royal, like oh, yeah, Bo Jackson go. bat? That'd, that'd, be that'd be sick. That'd be sick. <laughs> well, shoot. Yeah, if you have the AFC West tonight, man, you're like, you're pulling dubs. I swear we have other teams. We, we really do. Oh, Larry Johnson would be cool. Oh, yeah, there you go. All right. What a Priest Holmes. Big mini, double chief is number mixer. five. Let's do a, <laughs> let's do a chief's mixer, Nick. Uh, <laughs> just we'll just keep roll, doing the mini roll here, huh? Uh, the chief's that's, that's mini all, That's all that we've got thus far. I mean, the quad just filled up. So seven and eleven, we just did. We're out here just. No one on the starting lineup. You're killing me. What else? We have nine different series available tonight. I know the minis are the big... Uh, I always call them like the, the scene stealer, right? They come on the screen and then no one's watching anybody else. We've done a, we've done a couple flag days tonight. But we'll do here the uh, big mini double uh, live break number six. Two boxes. I think we already got them called out. All right, there. So everyone can see the names. Do a starting lineup double. Bob, I agree. We should do a starting lineup. Uh, how about a starting lineup quad? What do you What do you think? How about we just fill the starting lineup single and then talk about more oh, There you go. We'll do a starting lineup single and then we'll do a quad and boom, then we'd be well, done. If you want to do a double and then just buy into two spots and you get two teams. There you go. There you go. Five, six. All Sorry, right. not two teams, two divisions. My apologies. Yeah, two divisions, right. 
So Brad called a 13 and 12. I think Brad was the first one in. Thank you, Brad. Thir 13 and 12, or 12 and 13. Let me do, grab 12 and 13. Twelve and thirteen. Now give me the outway. He says. Here we go. Loaded dice quad. Woo! Actually, the loaded dice. We only have uh, not possible six boxes left. So uh, three cases. Crates, not cases. Crates, we call them. Crates. JSA COA. I'll tell you right now, it's not a chief. It's not a chief. Hate to ruin the surprise. It was a chief, though. <laughs> this guy was a good player. How about Tony Baselli on his uh, US. Ooh, this is nice. On his USC helmet. Tony Baselli, uh, Jags. Gary, you know the uh, the trivia with Tony Maselli. Share the, share with the class the first pick oh, yeah, ever right, right, for the Jacks uh, yeah. for the Jacks in franchise history. I think Gary was the one who told me that once. Tony Maselli, the offensive tackle. So Jags hit their AFC South is Garrett Bartels. There you go, Gary. That's a nice uh, helmet here. Tony Maselli, the offense, the great offensive tackle. Let's go. That's nice on that uh, chrome. If I didn't, uh, I don't think I forgot to mention that. Not, not that you can't tell that. It's a beauty. We have, uh, I don't know if he's um, in this series, but we have OJ on a uh, USC chrome. I think I've seen it in inventory. That was pretty sick looking. All these USC uh, chrome are really nice. But then again, what, what chrome helmet is it, right? That's true. Tony Baselli for Garrett. Aaron Donald, that'd be a nice hit. All right, get one more to go. Tony Baselli out of USC Trojans Chrome. That was 12. Let's do 13. Let me take 12 and 13 off the board, too. All right, here we go. Uh, 13, lucky 13 for somebody. To so back at COA. We have another quarterback. This is a headliner. It's Kurt Warner. Woo! Kurt Warner on a, uh, speaking of chromes, on a Rams chrome. The Hall of Fame quarterback, uh, Kurt Warner. It's a beauty. It's a beauty. It. Rams hit NFC West. Uh, that's St Steve, there you go, baby. Let's go, Steve Bacon. Damn. I don't know if it was who you were looking for, Steve, but uh, this is a sweet helmet. I think Steve was just looking for a headliner. There you go. There's a headliner right there. Yeah, sir. I know. Hey, yeah, the uh, the headliners, man. We got Justin Fields. We got Breeze. We pulled the Herbert. We got Kyler Murray. But and, and we had did, the Sam Darnold was not a headliner. That was the first helmet we pulled tonight. Steve, there you go. Appreciate it, Steve. Flying Day Doubles got five spots left. That's sweet. Kurt Warner, greatest show on turf. All right, congrats to Steve and Garrett. We're, uh, the, we got the wins here in this uh, double box break on the minis. That was our uh, sixth box break of the night. Whew. 
Here, it's warm in here. It's, it's getting a little warm in here. We have two fans. We might have to uh, turn one on. It's possible we might have to. Let's keep rolling. This is a this is the quad for the mini. Quad mini, our first quad of the night. And what do I have? I only have three uh, on the board. I'm just going to grab 11. So I got uh, 8, 9, 10. And I'll grab 11. We'll just keep going uh, again in ascending order. Right, uh, Steve. Yeah, that was the Kurt Warner story. Bagging groceries, then bang. Uh, he goes from that to winning a Super Bowl. And a Hall of Fame career. All right, here we go. This is the uh, this is the uh, quad here. Four box break. Let's randomize. Good luck here. Who you get with your division? Four, five, and six. Where's the guy you live with? Her husband. Oh yeah, yeah. Katrina and Nick are husband and wife. The Primes. All right, there we go. So let me grab the four helmets, 8, 9, 10, and 11. 8, 9, 10, and 11. Actually, 14. So we, put, we did 11. I guess we did 11. We should have had, let's see, 8, 9, 10. Oh, we did 13, too. That's right. Hold on. I don't want to knock over my tower of minis here. We'll do 8. Let's do 8. 8, 9, 10, and 14. This is box 8. Good luck, everyone here. Let's see, Bob. Let's see. So back it. I think you're gonna like it. This is Dak. Oh, Dak yeah. on the Cowboys Eclipse. There we go. Headliner, baby. Cowboys, the great uh, Dak Prescott. Hopefully he's healthy, ready to go for the uh, opener. Cowboys, NFC East is Chase Kiefer. Chase with a nice hit there. Dak Prescott. Again, all these are uh, specialty helmets in this 35 box series. Meaning it's either going to be on a, on a lunar, an eclipse, a chrome. Congrats, Chase. It's one of the ones uh, people were chasing, so to speak. No pun intended. Pun intended. Dak Prescott. That's one of four. That is really sweet. Dak. Going to Chase. One down. All right, we'll do uh, box nine next. Box nine. Good luck here. Steve, wondering about the uh, the deck. Chase, if you're uh, if you're interested in trades, I think you love you love takers. He's an Eagles fan, but it's okay. All right, right. Sounds like he can get traded. Uh huh. There might be a move. Say uh, back at COA. This is a Patriot. This is the uh, the real good running back, Sony Michelle. Sony Michelle on a uh, Patriots eclipse. There you go. New England Patriots AFC East is Steve Bacon. Steve, another win for you. Sony Michelle.
Steve, you, are you a pa Patriots fan? Well, there you go, man. I did not know that. Sony Michelle, that was a good pick for the Patriots. He was the uh, the last pick in the first round. What are we talking like three years now? Sounds about right. Right. About three years in the league now for Sony Michelle. Born and raised. There you go. Ricky Guerrero with a uh, trade offer for the DAC. Sony Michelle to Steve Bacon. Steve's had a lot of hits here the last week. Remember, Gary, last week it was, it was Steve who won the uh, the Aikman and the um, mm -hmm. the Marino. That's that was right. you and me, right? Last, uh, right. We last, we last yeah, last Wednesday. That's right. He also won uh, Justin Jefferson that night. I think he won his Avian Howard. Seriously. Uh, ten. Box ten here of 14. Two boxes, two different winners. Let's see if that uh, continues here on the, with this box. Got a JSA COA. Crazy night. It's a uh, another Patriots, another win for Steve Bacon. Uh, this is the uh, the former tight end, real good player back in the day, Ben Coates. There you go. Ben Coates, uh, just a uh, little, little research before the, the show. I think five-time Pro Bowler Ben Coates. He caught a lot of passes, real good pass receiving. Tight end had one year where he caught 90-plus passes. Steve, another hit, man. Ben Coates. Finished your career with 5,555 yards. Uh, 5,550. Oh, that, was he the one you were telling me? You're like, you knew because the number was just because of that, that number, right? That's correct. <laughs> That's good. That's right. Steve Bacon with the uh, Ben Coates. He just won the Sony Michelle. Back to back uh, wins here for Steve. Yeah, Ben Coates, man. He was, he was good. Steve, Joe, pull me the old jet and I retire. <laughs> is the OJ, uh, Garrett, do you know, uh, is the OJ USC in this? Uh, you know what? For some reason, I feel like it is. The, the Chrome? Because you brought it up. I think feel like it is. That's not a headliner, I don't think. No, I don't think it is either. Now, that was 10. This is 14. What's up, Chris Bostain? Seven breaks too late. I think Okoye is still up there. <laughs> we love Christian Okoye. 14 to 35. Nigerian nightmare. We have here uh, a uh, Beckett COA. Now, this guy, I don't think, I, I think we've seen his memorabilia. I know we have. I just not pulled this guy yet in, in my ten, short tenure at UA. This is uh, Nick Bosa Ooh. on a, uh, a Niners Ooh. eclipse. This is really nice. I didn't realize Ooh. we had him in this series. Ooh. But Nick okay. Bosa, baby. Fire. Wow. This guy will uh, sack the QB and do a lot more bad things to your offense. Niners hit NFC West. Uh, that's Ricky Guerrero. Rick, you got like two or three wins tonight. But Nick Bosa, that's pretty cool. Here, have you pulled a Nick Bosa? We had Nick Bosa. I feel like I've pulled a Nick Bosa full size before. Yeah, okay. Really sweet. Nestor Rodriguez. And Nestor, you know, he's a big Niners guy. I don't know if he... Nestor, you got a, uh, a Nick Bosa? Hey, so is Johnny Lang. Johnny Lang may want that one, too. Oh, oh Johnny's a uh, Niners guy? <laughs> nice hit there, Ricky. And the uh, gold... Let's say a uh, gold paint pen, he signs it. To complement that gold trim on the uh, helmet. 
And that was four. Uh, no, that, yeah, that was the four. Did I do four elements? Okay. He did. I think I forgot to mark one. Oh, still, because Steve Bacon had the two. He had the uh, Michelle and the Coats. That's what it was. Let me uh, mark that for you here. All right. Big mini quad live break number seven. Ricky Guerrero with uh, Nick Bosa hit there. Oh, Chris said he traded uh, John Lang a, Nick, a Bosa. There you go. Whew. 9.30 almost here in Chicago. And I think, I think we're caught up. Yeah, we got one right. spot left in the past and present jersey. That's one closest, spot? It's the closest thing we got available right now. One spot. That's live break number one in the uh, past and present. Let me get these boxes out of the way. Oh, it says it's sold out. Maybe I missed them. Well, somebody. Possible I missed somebody. All right, it's sold out. Give me a second here. Yeah. Past and present. So we've pulled three headliners in the big mini. We pulled uh, Herbert, Dak, uh, El uh, Warner. We've not pulled Elway, Breeze, Murray, and our guy Justin Fields. We have not. So we're still looking for four headliners. But we've had some uh, nice hidden headliners, as the, as uh, Donnie would say. So we'll do past and present next. I can also give you a little update here. We got four left in the big mini quad. That's live break number eight. So halfway sold out there. Five left in the flag day replica. Six left in the loaded dice. Uh, kitchen sink multi mixer. I thought we'd uh, have more spots. Um, that's a ten spot break. So uh, uh, seven spots remaining in that break for the uh, multi sport mixer. The multi sport, by the way, I'm looking at the. Uh, I think we still have not pulled the uh, Fernando Tatis photo. I don't believe. I don't think we have. Uh, it's a really good hit still in that multi sport mixer. Danny Dimes, Platinum, six spots. All right, you're all set, Joe. Thanks, Gear. And then pretty much, and we still have that uh, Terrell Davis full-size uh, helmet on his, uh, on his Georgia Bulldogs helmet for our Dutch auction item. Gear has it at 275. It's a replica helmet. The only thing, I'm going to show it to you one more time, and then we'll do that past and present. This is the Terrell Davis, Georgia Bulldogs, a uh, speed, uh, Riddell Speed Eclipse uh, replica helmet. You see on the J there, just a little, like some, again, probably could have uh, shaked the paint pen a little more there. But otherwise, that's the auto, a lot of ink there regardless. Go Dogs inscription, the Hall of Famer, two-time Super Bowl champion, Terrell Davis. If you want it, go get it. It's on the UA Live Breaks page. All right, let's do pass and press it. Our first break of the night. If you're this one, you want to call on a box number... I'd appreciate the uh, past and present. The boxes I have, we had a lot. We still about about 20 boxes, I think, left in that series close to it, um, or 15 or 20. We have uh, 25, 38, 39, 42, and 43. We got Michael here, Brandon, Dave, Bill Norton, Chase, Chris, uh, Goffrey, and then Chris Wells has two spots. Thank you, gentlemen. I know we, we do. We have, we have nine series counting the Panini One football cards on the website. It is a lot. Which, you know, we like to give people lots of options, but uh, I can tell you, we're doing the job work that we're producing, like Gary right now, uh, it can sometimes be overwhelming because you've got so many different series. Too many barracks to choose from. Okay. That's actually good feedback. Yeah, appreciate that. Yeah, because we go, we, we discuss that weekly about do we have too little, too many, uh, and I know uh, the team here likes... Uh, likes to hear the feedback. Four, five, and six. All 
All right, Chris Wells, thanks for calling out Box 42. Thank you, brother. We'll do that. 42 on the uh, past and present. I'll take 42 off the screen. 42, Jackie Robinson or Ronnie Lott, as, as Gary would tell me. <laughs> True. 42. All right, guys, thanks so much for filling out the break. Let's let's open this our first our first jersey of the night. Let's see what we uh, have here. It's a JSA COA that comes with this one. How about A.J. Brown? A nice hit here. A.J. Brown, really good wide receiver. Uh, this uh, Tennessee Titans. Let me pull uh, this out of the bag or get, get a good look at it. Well, that's the back of it. There we go. A.J. Brown, this kid is good. Went to a Pro Bowl this past season. Yeah, Tennessee Titans hit um, their first, first Titans uh, pull tonight. AFC South. That's Chris Godfrey. Chris, I think this is your second win tonight, I believe. Nice hit, man. It's going to be fun to see this kid with uh, Julio Jones on the opposite side of him. Oh, boy. Right? Yeah. It'd be a fun team to watch next season. For yeah, sure. they are, right? And then, you know, you got Derrick Henry in the backfield. I mean, look out. Let's go. Uh, A.J. Brown, man, this guy scores a lot of touchdowns. Big yeah. play guy. Good fantasy guy. I'm not a fantasy player, but you, you play fantasy, right, Gary? Yeah, I'd say a good fantasy option for sure. Nice hit, Chris. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, if you're looking for like Tennessee Titans slot, uh, well, actually, sorry, check check that. <laughs> if you're looking for like a uh, flex right. option, possibly in the realm of fantasy football, AJ Brown's a good choice. Yeah. Good rats, Chris. First box break of the jerseys tonight. Past, not papst, past and present. Past and present. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be, uh, that's going to be a fun, like Gary just mentioned, that's going to be a fun team to watch here in 2021, Titans, man. And they were already fun to watch. Good team. All right, we um, we are all cut up. We have not done. You know, we can do personals on any series, but the uh, the mini helmets. So uh, anything else? Any platinum helmets? Uh, more jerseys? The mixer? Do the mixer? I really thought the mixer would be uh, go moving faster. Agreed. Our, our mixers here are, are killer. Exceptional. Uh, they really are. The, the 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 products we have. Is that list? Uh, is that on that list here? Yeah, it's Can you right, scoot uh, that uh, for me? The, the, yeah, we'll call it the kitchen sink. Thanks, buddy. Got a lot yep. of good stuff in there still. So the Peyton Manning, um, 16 by 20 photo. It's uh, him in a uh, action shot with the, with the Broncos. We got the Shane Bieber uh, baseball, the reigning uh, AL Cy Young winner. We got the Tobin Bell hockey jersey. Uh, great for you, any movie collect, if anyone who collects movie memorabilia. Tobin Bell is the. Uh, Actor who plays, uh, I'm not a, I don't watch any of the horror movies, but uh, the Saw movies. Yeah, he, he plays the character Jigsaw. Do right. you watch horror movies? No, I'm not. not I'm not, not either. Not, no, no. Uh, not me. Not even close. Uh, so we still have that. That's one of the headliners. Uh, Kevin Eastman. Is he, uh, who's Kevin Eastman? Yeah, so I believe he is the creator, either he is a creator or co creator of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, okay. This is a signed photo. Uh, Kevin Eastman, the Tatis man, that'd be cool. I'm talking about one of the, the Greatest stars in the game today, Fernando Tatis Jr., a no. signed 16 by 20. That's Absolutely. Those are some of the headliners that have not uh, been pulled 
unless they went retail, which I have to, you know, I always have to preface that. But I, I but actually the Tatis, I think, is still in the room. So I don't think it went retail. Because we, the, the, the box would have, like, a sign saying, congratulations, you want a Fernando Tatis uh, signed photo. And I think the photo is still in, in the room. Give you a little update here. Wait, Gary, you might want to fix the title of the past president. It says copy it. Okay. Ah, yeah. We do that. I've done that before. Sometimes you forget to delete the copy of. Every guy who's done the producing role has done that. <laughs> Garrett, when will we see everyone's spot win break eight spot? What? Um, Garrett, when will we see everyone's spot win break eight spot? Oh, when would we see like, someone like do an octo and someone wins all eight? That might be a drop the mic moment for who's ever uh, hosting. When will we see everyone's spot? Is that, that's what you're alluding to, Jason. What's up, Jason? Yeah, someone like we do an octo maybe and uh, someone wins all eight spots. It might be like all eight. It might be eight Chiefs helmets, uh, and then we'd have uh, we'd have that historic day at UA. We'd have shields, a Koye. Uh, when will we see everyone's spot? We have to break eight spots. I think that's what he's what he means there, right, Gary? Jason? What do you mean by that? Maybe like an octo box, octo break, and everyone said that same person wins all eight. No, the one jersey and the rest helmets. Hmm. Eight. <laughs> Eight Ryan Leafs. Bob, you kill me. One jersey and the rest helmets. <laughs> Bob said eight Ryan Leafs. <laughs> and Ryan Leaf out of Washington State. Uh, Ryan Leaf, uh, Eclipse. Uh. <laughs> Bob, you always make me laugh, man. You are, you Jason, are a sharp dude. I have no clue what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm sorry. I am confused. No, the one jersey and the rest helmets. Hmm. Nope. I'm confused. Uh, me too. I thought he was talking about like an octo break where one someone wins all eight. Dumb it down for me, please. Don't let Garrett fool you. By the way, he is. Uh, we can say this on camera because it's a proud moment. He he's getting getting his master's degree. That is correct. In marketing, is it sports management? Sports management. Eight Ryan leaves. Hold on. All right. No problem, Jason. Yeah, Garrett's getting nice. Uh, he's, he's signed up for his classes for the fall. I did. I did that today. It was it's very awesome. Exciting. Very exciting. We're all very proud of him here at UA. Thank you. Absolutely. It was a little bit of a uh, an odd process because I was trying to find the classes and I went to sports management section on the course selection and it said there's no classes available. I'm like, where are the classes? I was like, there's no way they all sold out or like all got um, uh, filled up. But I realized that there was a tab that said Masters in Sports Management. Uh, and then all those classes were available, of course. Oh, so, okay. There you yeah, go. should be fun. Should yeah, be fun. Something. If, yeah, that many people going for their master's degree. Yeah, I mean, this, this well, I mean, I, I, I'm guessing that there's a, a sports a, a, management. I'm guessing there's like an acceptance amount of people per year. So, sure. Yeah. All right. Let's see what we got. Jason is is. Uh... All right, four, four spots left still in the uh, big mini. We got, it's the quad. We got, we got an order. Chase is in on the quad. Wait, they call that a foul? That was all ball. What? We, are you watching the Hawks? Uh, yeah, 109, Hawks 107, Milwaukee. Two minutes left in the fourth quarter. Good to the last drop. Ooh. We, we have not done a personal tonight. Um, part of that is because we can't do personals with the minis. I, I get it. Um, but they're not the, so, sold the Terrell Davis Dutch. That's a 255 right now. 255. Rep helmet, but again, it retails at 385. The only thing that makes it not perfect is the little lack of ink when he starts the auto. He signed it with a white paint pen. And uh, okay. price the shaking. So the Jason Spencer says rep helmet, platinum helmet, jersey, regular helmet. Jason, what break are you talking about? I'm still oh, super confused. Well, or are you saying, will we do a series like that? It was a three hundred dollars a spot. If we did, I see maybe oh. like like all four, like a rep platinum. Oh, helmet. I think he's asking. Oh, he's asking about the um, mega box break. Okay, oh. Jason, I know what you're talking about. Where everyone won, yes. Uh, yes. 
Jason is wondering when we'll see another Mega Box break where there's eight items, eight people buy in, and there's like, oh yes, gotcha, okay. gotcha, 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 gotcha. Now I'm getting understanding. Uh, great question. I can discuss it with Donnie. If people are interested in it, let us know in the chat if you're interested in a uh, possible. Yes, it'll be like three hundred to four hundred dollars a spot, but you are guaranteed to win. But you could win a jersey, but you also could win a platinum helmet. Or, like, maybe a Speed Flex at some point. Who knows? Maybe a Tom Brady. We have not. When was the last time we did a Mega? Uh, I want to say, say maybe after Christmas. Like Yeah, I mean, I... February or I March. Remember, I remember... Now that you yes. mentioned the word Mega Box Break, I... Because that... I mean, I've been here six months. I think it was maybe, like, a month into... Uh, yeah, yeah. I was still trying to figure out, like, what are they calling? What are they calling a double or triple? I don't yeah. know. What does that mean? Uh, but now I remember that. Now I remember that. But yeah, that's going back. Okay, we certainly Jason, thanks for bringing that up. Yeah, we certainly can uh, get that in development and, and maybe do one of those at some point here. Um, usually how that works is we don't have a specific day in which it'll break. It'll just be whenever all the spot spots are filled. Yeah. Two spots left in the big mini. Let's fill that quad. Two spots left in the uh, the big mini that might be i don't want to say you know we'll, we'll stay open as long as you want to keep buying spots and um but uh we're not really close on anything things change quickly we've seen that happen before uh but let's see if we can fill this out who's it for the uh, uh four more mini helmets four chances to win here with the uh, big mini helmet again still looking for some uh pretty big names elway breeze murray fields Yeah, this is always uh, the dilemma sometimes um, uh, in, in the chat there about uh, easier way to land on a certain division. Yeah. Um. Yeah, we you know we, we have weekly meetings here about the breaks, and uh, we always have good conversations, trying to make the experience better for for you guys. Because that's what it's all about. I mean, it sounds like a company line, but that's that's the truth. So we appreciate your ideas. Uh, fire away in the chat. We we like the feedback. Yeah, that, that yeah, Great Jason. Point. I think that that's one of the problems. You nailed it there. And then once a headliner was pulled, let's say it was Aaron Rodgers, and the you know he's like, well, that's. Who wants the NFC North now? Rodgers is gone, right? I mean, that's that's the draw side. Any good Eagles minis? Um, uh, we got Mike Vick, we got Don Vick now. Yeah. Um, in this, I'm pulling up the, the big mini. Let me take a look at that. And it's all on the the website. I'm looking at the names. Um, I don't see an eagle there, Ramson. Uh, might be. Uh... Anyway, you have OJ in that mini. I you know um, Steve was asking earlier, Steve Bacon, and that that OJ. I'd have to check if that OJ is that USC Chrome. Bob in the chat, uh, just last night, what is the record for scoring goals in consecutive games in the Stanley Cup playoffs and who? Ooh. We got hockey fans out there? Bob knows I'm a big hockey fan. I don't know the answer to this one, Bob. I don't even, I, I would have to guess uh, the big guys. Like Gretzky, well, Lemieux, those would be cliche answers. It's a Tampa Bay guy. Is it Stamkos? Years ago. Uh, how about Vinny LeCavier? Is it Vinny? Or maybe, uh, I was going to say Martin St. Louis. Good hockey names, right? Vincent LeCavier. That gets you like a table at any restaurant right away. Excuse me, sir. I am, I am Vincent LeCavier. Come on in. You got your table ready. Martin St. Louis. Killer name. All right, Joe, you ready? Oh, Reggie ready? Leach. Oh, wow. We're going. I, I have Reggie Leach hockey cards. Do we sell it out here? Yep. Bang. 
Four more minis? Correct. Reggie Leach. Thanks for the uh, the flashback memory there, Bob. Reggie Leach. This is on number eight, right? Correct. Number eight. Here we go. Beautiful. Thank you. Uh, thank you, guys. I think we have all guys here in this break. Katrina. Oh, there. Katrina. Sorry. I spoke too soon. Thank you, seven guys and Katrina. Appreciate it. Thanks for filling it out. Let's do it. Let's randomize six times. Katrina is one of the guys, right? Katrina and Olfats, you know, we, we all love you. We love you and Nick. Four, five, six. There we go. <laughs> All right, there we go. The uh, the minis. I got. Let me just grab four. We're just gonna go right up the list. Uh, eight, nine, ten. Let me grab four. Don't drop them, Joe. Let's see, we got 15, 16, 17, and 18. So this will uh, mean we're halfway through this mini helmet series. It's 35 boxes. Big mini, 15 of 35. <laughs> here we go. Let's see what we have here. Uh, we, already brought, we already did the uh, past and present. Back to you. Yeah, we did that. We can tell you who won. Who won Chris the uh, Godfrey won? Oh, Godfrey won the uh, AJ Brown jersey. It's a Steeler set. This is wide receiver Chase Claypool, the former Notre Dameer, on an eclipse. This is nice. And look at this with this uh, yellow paint pen right next to the logo. Really nice. AFC North hit. First win is Katrina. There you go, Katrina. Chase Claypool. That's a that's a gorgeous helmet here. Real good young wide receiver, Chase Claypool. It's nice. And speed uh, Eclipse. We got all specialty helmets in this mini series. Chase Claypool goes to Katrina Perrine. All right, one down. Claypool, a guy who, you know, lasted late second round last year. Our Bears passed him up, took the tight end. His uh, college teammate, uh, Cole Komet. Right. Uh, I think Cole's going to have a big year. Great. He had a kind of okay rookie year. Box 16. Box 16. Don't tell it. <laughs> 16 of 35. Fanatic COA. We have. You have a Tampa Bay Buccaneer. This is the uh, young running back. He was a rookie this past season. This is uh, Keyshawn Vaughn. First time I've seen uh, his uh, memorabilia in the room here. Check out this. This is uh, his college helmet. And I gotta tell you, uh, I don't know. Is that Virginia? Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt, of course. Van. I didn't know that was on a. We played at Vanderbilt. Um, Keyshawn Vaughn, the uh, third round pick, fourth round pick of the right, yeah. Bucks. I mean, Super Bowl champ. He didn't play a lot, I don't believe, this past season. No, he did not. Uh, but, uh, hey, man, he won a Super Bowl. It's true. And uh, a lot of upside here. So, anyway, Tampa Bay, NFC South. Uh, that's Steve Bacon. Steve, the wins keep coming, man. 
This is, uh, I don't think I've ever seen a, a Vanderbilt helmet in the room here. Have you, Garrett? I have not. So you knew the helmet. Good for you. You saved me on that one. Steve, congrats. Bob says, I want to tap my helmet of him a day or two ago. Okay, here, I'm assuming here at UA, right, Bob? I have, that's the first time I've pulled uh, a piece of memorabilia of this kid. That's a, that's a really cool helmet. All right. Got to familiarize myself a little more with uh, Keyshawn Blum. I'll tell you, that's, that's sweet. Vanderbilt, uh, the alma mater of uh, our former quarterback be, be, before Mitchell. Jay Cutler. Jay Cutler, Chicago Bear. Steve, way to go. This Vandy helmet. That was box two. Two boxes, two different winners. So we got, uh, this is 17. Right, 17. Beckett. Yeah, Bob, I don't disagree with you. How about a Niner? This is Fred Warner, the uh, Pro Bowl linebacker. Nice helmet here. This is on a Lunar. Another Niner for tonight. Fred Warner, another real good player here. San Francisco, NFC West. J Chase Kiefer. Three boxes, three different winners. Chase gets on the board here in this mini. I think this is Chase's... Second or third win? Is this three wins for Chase tonight? Sounds about right. Fred Warner for Chase. 61669. We pulled Kurt Warner earlier, and now we have Fred Warner. All right, one more to go. This could be our final uh, box break of the night. Possible that might be the case. Are we, uh... Tell me, Gare. Are we not uh, close on anything? No, not close on anything else. <laughs> Bob. Next is Pop Warner. <laughs> Bob doesn't miss a trick. Bob does... Bob, you are, uh... You're awesome. If we pull Pop Warner next, uh, we're ending... I'm gonna, uh, be, I'm gonna be kind of we're, shocked. We're closing the company. I'm nothing gonna be... It. Shocked because I didn't remember seeing that. <laughs> Can we sneak into one jersey break? Well, you're gonna have to sell it out. There's eight spots left. Pop, Pop Warner. Bob, love you. Just love you. Pop Warner. <laughs> 18 of 35. At the halfway, 18? Yeah, 18. We're more than halfway through. We're about halfway through. 35 divided by 2 is 17 and a half. Wow, Joe, I'm impressed. Uh, oh, it's a good one. It's, good. it's a Beckett COA. It's a beauty. It's a beauty. <laughs> this is John Elway. Woo! <laughs> Baby, little fist pumps there. Feel free to send a tip. Wow. John Elway on a Feel Broncos Chrome. To send a tip. This is fire. It's a banger, as the boys like to say. AFC West, and that's Garrett Bartels. Garrett, is this your third win tonight? This is all that and then some. Elway, there we go. Another headliner off the board. John Elway. Can we just leave this out for the next two days just so we can all look at it? Good auto. It's John freaking Elway. Wow. Garrett, you done good, bro. You done good. That's cool. Many months ago, we had a uh, Elway. Do you remember this, Garrett? We had it on a 
Bronco's amp full size yep. on the crowd. That was that was sweet. That was really nice, man. This I know it's a mini, it's not full size, but wow. I don't know if I've seen the Broncos chrome yet. Just awesome. Four boxes, four different winners. Dang, man. Oh, and then I like this too. This also comes, this little bonus that comes with the COA is the picture, look at this, of John Elway signing. The photo got a little crumpled there. But uh, there, there, there's a picture of Elway signing the mini helmets. The great uh, John Elway. John Elway. You know, sometimes when we talk about you know the, the great athletes of all time, you know the Bows, the Dion's, let me forget to mention Elway. Well, you know, even if you're Garrett's age, you probably know the Elway story. You know, didn't want to play for the Colts when who had the number one pick in the draft. Uh, Signed with the Yankees, just because said, you know, if they draft me, I'm going to play baseball for the Yankees. Had played a season of minor league ball with the Yankees before the draft, I believe the story goes. And um, and then the Colts did draft him, and then a couple nights later they succumbed to his wishes, you know, and uh, they traded him. For uh, Northwestern offensive tackle, remember the name Chris Hinton? Chris Hinton was a really good player in the league, pro bowler, etc. Um, but Hinton was the uh, the Broncos pick, if I got my facts right. And then they traded uh, Hinton and other picks uh, to the Colts for Elway and, as they say, the rest is history. That was right. John Elway, man. He'd be like, you walk, you walk in the room, you just like bow. Like, Mr. Elway, sir. John Elway. Garrett, killing it tonight, man. Whew. That was fun. So that means we um, are about uh, like at the halfway point. Again, we've just gone in ascending order on the numbers. So about half the box is left in the minis. We, we pulled four headliners tonight. We have not pulled Drew Brees, Kyler Murray, Justin Fields, and again, other uh, hidden headliners, uh, on, all on specialty helmets, 35 boxes in this break room exclusive mini helmet series. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. You're going to keep buying if it wasn't pulled. Yeah, that's how it goes sometimes. It's like people want to, want to, you know, if it's still out there, they're going to go for it. Uh, legit Fantasy Sports, Michael, uh, we got eight spots left in the past and present. Unless you're trying to hype people up to get the pass and present. There's eight spots left. Denver's my team. You can always make a trade offer. Because sometimes you get the guy, but it's like either you might have the guy or it's just not your team. And maybe you've got, uh, you know, you're, you're looking for someone in particular of equal uh, value, you know. Or you do two for one or whatever. You guys know how to make trades. Two spots left in a double Big mini. All right, two, two spots left there. Can we fill that before we uh, call it a night here? Everything else, we're looking at eight spots, five left in the flag day wrap. I don't think we've sold a spot there in a while. Seven. Looks, looks like we're not going to do any Panini One football cards. Uh, today we still have 10 spots left. That's a 16 spot break. Danny Dimes Platinum, six left. The uh, Flag Day Authentic, eight. And the, the the kitchen sink mixer is still seven. So, but that is just not the, no one's buying into that. We got anything Packers? Um, we got we have a few back. We pulled a Packer tonight. We pulled it out on Green Authentic tonight. Okay. You know what? I just saw we got uh, in our newest batch of uh, 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 inventory. We got uh, Robert uh, Tunyon, yeah. the, the young tenant. I saw him on a jersey. They got a full size helmet, oh, or was clean. it a mini? Cleat. Oh, it was, oh, is that him on the cleat? Yeah. I, did, I I saw the cleat. I didn't know that was uh, his auto on there. Yep. So we got some fun Robert Tunyon um, memorabilia. We've not had him yet at UA. Local guy for us, McHenry High School, uh, Indiana Wesleyan. Great story, undrafted. 
had a Pro Bowl caliber season uh, this past year with with uh, the Packers. Great chemistry with Aaron Rodgers, but yeah. But uh, and we yeah we've had a lot of Devontae Adams, Packers. But if you're looking to trade, um, you know a lot of guys have Pat Packer stuff. I'm sure. It just sold out. Give me sold out. Beautiful. The the mini. This will be a double box break here. So we do those four. I'm gonna grab two boxes. Right in order, we'll, we'll go 19 and 20. We'll do 19 and 20. We'll do 19 first. This is uh. Number nine. We are ready to go. Daniel Clayton's got three spots here. What's up, Daniel? John McGowan, Micah, Jonathan Lang, Steve, and uh, Jason Spencer. All right, good luck, gentlemen. Let's randomize the names. Jonathan Lang and the chat. I, I have a Tunyon Eclipse mini and a uh, I'm on Green Eclipse. Nice. Three, four, five, and six. There we go. All right, double box break here. All right, gentlemen. Good luck. Nineteen. JSA COA. Not a headliner, but how about Ray Lewis? Hidden headliner. This is Ray Lewis on his Miami Hurricanes. Garrett, I gotta need uh, your expertise here. This is a is this considered a flat white? Uh, yeah, that's correct. Flat white here. Flat white with like a beauty chrome, the chrome silver, silver chrome. This is really nice. nice. A little better look at the auto. Ray Lewis. How about that? Ravens. AFC North for, uh, that's Jason Spencer. Jason, there you go, man. To win for Jason. The Hall of Fame linebacker. Yes, yeah, there you go, Jace. The great Ray Lewis. That is a dope helmet. Call that a flat white Hey, this is a shut, by the way. A shut um, eclipse. Is it called a shut eclipse? That's right. Uh, yeah. Shut flat white. Yeah. It's a shut flat white. Love that. Nice hit, Jason. That, again, that's not even a, a headliner um, in this series for us. I have a Super Bowl jersey, but it needs a uh, sign, Jason Spencer. Okay. Well, I bet that's cool looking. Ray Lewis, the uh, all-time leading tackler in NFL history. I think he's also the, you know, it's it's it's, it's, it's solos and assisted tackles. I think he's the career leader in solos and career, you know, combined uh, solos uh, and assisted tackles. Not that he doesn't. Not that everyone doesn't know he's. Freaking Ray Lewis, he's you know he's awesome. All right, there you go. One more here. Box twenty. Box twenty. Tomorrow um, noon, Donnie, right? Donnie and Garen, Garen, Matt tomorrow night. Correct. PSA COA. 
old old timer here. We were just mentioning the Packers. Here's Lynn Dickey. Lynn Dickey. This is Daniel Clayton. Daniel had three spots in this uh, break, three divisions. And he pulls the uh, Lynn Dickey, the former quarterback, on a Packers lunar. Lynn Dickey, who uh, is elevated in my book to the top ten in uh, good-looking autos. It's a really good signature, Lynn Dickey, here. I agree. And you read every letter in his name. NFC North, Daniel Clayton. Daniel, way to, uh, way to go. Lynn Dickey, former Houston Oiler uh, as well. Then he went to Green Bay. Six one six seven three on the order number Lynn Dickey. I would I would say we must have in this series we've got thirty five boxes, probably close to fifteen quarterbacks. We got a ton of quarterbacks of uh, in this uh, and some just fantastic ones. Lynn Dickey went to a uh, Pro Bowl. Lynn Dickey was way before Garrett's time. This was Lynn Dickey was like seventies. Maybe 80s, more 70s. Great helmet, great auto. Packer. We have not pulled a bear tonight, have we, Gary? We have not. We have not pulled a bear tonight. All right. Nine breaks tonight with the mini helmets. All right, guys, that, uh, Gary, are we at last call time? Uh, yes, we are on last call time. For last everything. call if you want to do any uh, personals. Um, or because I don't know if we'll um, fill out another break. We have. Yeah, live break number 10 is up there, but no, no one has bought a spot yet. And then the rest of the everything else, 8, 5, 7, 8. Um, closest thing we have to being sold out is the um, Flag Day Replica helmet. Five spots left there. I don't think we've, we've sold a spot there for a while. Give you last, last, so let's make it a last call here. Let us know in the chat. And I'll also show you one last call here for the uh, Terrell Davis Eclipse replica helmet, uh, the University of Georgia helmet, the great uh, two-time Super Bowl champ, Hall of Fame running back, former Bronco Terrell Davis with the Go Dogs inscription. Again, this is our Dutch auction item tonight. Only thing wrong, quote unquote, with it is just the Autolax, a little little ink here, not. Bad, but you know we, we get it. It's not you'd find another Terrell Davis autograph, which is a little more ink there on the T. But otherwise, it's beauty, right? It's a gorgeous looking helmet. Terrell Davis retails three eighty five. We have it right now uh, on the page at let me have a look at it at uh, two forty, two forty. That's um, that's a real bargain. That's a real bargain. If you want it, go grab it. We will we will take it down after the show. I think what we're going to do going forward is for the matinees, when we do a Dutch item during the matinee, we will continue, if it doesn't sell, uh, that is, keep it up there until the next the start of the next show, which is always 8 p.m. Central Time, uh, seven days a week. So that's what we'll do for the matinees. But after the show, we will take this down, and then we'll probably put it back in another Dutch auction uh, down the road. I missed it. Uh, what did I uh, pull? Oh, Daniel, I think you just won. Uh, you won a Lynn Dickey mini helmet in the uh, double box break. Uh, Daniel, uh, Lynn Dickey, former Packers quarterback on a uh, Lunar. Nice looking helmet, Packers Lunar. There you go. Just, just as Bob says. Yeah, on a Lunar. Really nice helmet. All right, guys, it's been a real fun night. Thanks so much for the participation. In these minis, lots of love shown toward the minis, uh, as per usual. We uh, got through about half of them. Uh, Garrett, maybe you'll have a few more to break tomorrow night when you and Garrett, uh, are you and uh, Matt, we shall see. Uh, have the show I'm tomorrow. Hoping, I'm hoping the boys roll through them tomorrow. We'll 
We'll see what happens. So again, we've got uh, what did I said. We've done eighteen tonight. Yeah, we have 18. fifteen left. Sounds about right. Yep. Uh, yes. So fifteen mini helmets left. Lynn, and again, Lynn Dickey, Patrick's mini there, Daniel. Yeah, Lynn, and Bob mentioned it in the chat, Daniel. It's the Lynn Dickey Packers, uh, uh, the former quarterback, played in the 70s, former Houston Oiler, but it's on a Packers Lunar. I'll show it to you again, Daniel. That's the Terrell Davis, our Dutch, which I don't guess is not going to go. Daniel, I'll show you to you one more. Good night, Katrina. Thank you, girl. Daniel Clayton, that's the helmet you just won. Lynn Dickey. Great auto. Bob, see you this weekend. Mini vacation. Good for you, Bob. Enjoy. When you say that mini vacation, hope you bring in the golf clubs. Yeah, it's Saturday, by the way. Uh, normally, uh, Matt Mohannon is with me, but... Um, Speaking of golf, Matt's going to go on a little golf trip with some uh, buddies of his. That's right. So I'll be missing him. Our our buddy, I, uh, guys have been watching for a long time, or last six months, as I remember, our young, uh, now he's a high school graduate, young John. Um, he'll be doing back, back room. He'll be producing. He'll be sitting in uh, where Gary's sitting for the two shows Saturday uh, with me. John's real sharp kid. He's going to Notre Dame. Took Chinese this year for fun. Seriously. Incredible stuff. So, John, what's your what's your easy class like? Your you know, like for my daughter, she was like she would take band because she loves that. You know, she played clarinet and you know uh, choir. John, what's your uh, what's your easy class? Uh, Chinese four. Okay, <laughs> okay. We love Johnny. Really tremendously sharp kid. Uh, but Johnny's gonna be here with me uh, on Saturday, and hopefully uh, Matt Bohannon hits him straight. I'm sure he will, and uh, gets a couple eagles. Drive those par fives. He's young. These young kids can drive the par fives. You know, not drive, but, you know, reach them in two. Anyway, uh, Daniel, congrats on that. Thank you, everyone, for uh, the buying the spots tonight, participating. Congrats to those who won. We appreciate you just hanging out with us, watching uh, some fun memorabilia broken uh, on camera tonight live. Garrett, thank you, brother. Absolutely. Thank you for... Fun, uh, fun show. Absolutely. Ladies, gentlemen, thank you so much. We will see you tomorrow, hopefully back here in our uh, UA Live Studios, uh, Live Break Studios, noon central time tomorrow uh, with Donnie and Dave. For Garrett, I'm Joe. Have a good rest of your night, and uh, happy Thursday. We'll talk to you later.